Even though we rarely notice vans on busy streets, these hard workers have become irreplaceable members of the modern city ecosystem, taking upon themselves delivery, maintenance, and passenger transportation duties. Since the world is on a mission to clean up the air and drastically decrease emissions, countless vans are among the first commercial means of transportation to go through electrification. Today we will give you a brief review of the newest electric van models that someday will be inevitably delivering your Amazon packages or assisting you in the business matters. Subscribe to our channel to help EVs go mainstream and let's get technical. First presented in fall 2019, the Vivaro E becomes Opel's first all-electric commercial vehicle that is already on sale across Europe. The van is powered by a combo of a single electric motor making 136 horses and either 50 or 75 kilowatt hour battery. Its estimated range reaches 143 miles with the smaller pack and 205 miles with the larger one. Both are compatible with 100 kilowatt DC public chargers that allow to bring the time spent at the station down to 30 and 45 minutes. Finally, the Vivaro E is available in three body styles and three lengths, offering from 180 to 222 cubic feet of cargo space and up to 2,805 pounds of payload capacity. For now, this appealing cargo van exists only in the form of a concept vehicle, but according to Volkswagen, it is not going to stay in this stage of development for long. Planned to launch in Europe by the end of 2022, the model will be built on the already existing MEB platform that can be easily adapted for all kinds of vehicles. It will have more than 300 miles of range thanks to the huge 111 kilowatt hour battery that can also be used to feed high voltage work tools. Other perks of the ID Buzz Cargo include an ability to carry up to 1,760 pounds, a smart cabin, and a solar roof that can add 9.3 miles to the range per day. After undergoing winter road tests under extreme conditions, the EQV luxury van is now available for pre-order in Europe. From the outside, the model boasts a black panel grille with chrome fins, standard LED headlights, and 17-inch alloy wheels, with bigger 18-inch available and higher trims. Depending on the market, the EQV gets two wheelbase variants and three configurations, a six-seat VIP transporter, a seven-seat family bus, and an eight-seat passenger van. The powertrain consists of a 201 horsepower front-mounted electric motor and a 90 kilowatt hour battery that is claimed to provide 260 miles of range. The electric revolution is just beginning. Time to show your rebellious spirit by joining the zero emissions movement by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Let's proceed. Known on the American market as Ram ProMaster, the Ducato is one of the most popular light commercial vehicles worldwide. In 2020, this Fiat badge model arrives in all new fully electric iteration with two battery options, 47 and 79 kilowatt hour. The Pax feeds a 122 horsepower motor and offers 124 to 205 miles of range under moderate weather conditions. The electrification does not compromise on the van's utility and load capacity so the e Ducato is able to carry up to 4,290 pounds of payload. It, however, does limit the travel speeds of the van, so it maxes out at 62 miles per hour. For now, the model will be offered as a cargo van or a chassis cam, while 2021 will bring us its people mover version.
After the commercial success of the latest generation Expert, which has seen 200,000 units sold, the French manufacturer expands the family with the all-electric model. The E-Expert sources its sharp bodywork from the internal combustion siblings, but adds a reworked front grille, a charging flap, and an E-Expert badge at the rear. As standard, the van is powered by a 50 kilowatt hour battery with up to 143 miles of range, while an optional 75 kilowatt hour unit increases the travel distance to 205 miles. The vehicle comes equipped with a driving mode selector, which can limit the power output by 60 to 80 percent when you are not transporting heavy loads. Mercedes already started production of its brand new E Sprinter in January 2020, offering the electric hauler with a choice of two battery sizes. The bigger 55 kilowatt hour pack is claimed to cover up to 104 miles on a single charge, while the standard 35 kilowatt hour one reduces the possible trip to 72 miles, but offers increased payload capacity of 2,300 pounds. The van gets regular and high roof configurations with the maximum loading volume of 371 cubic feet. Targeting commercial fleet operators, Mercedes also equipped the E Sprinter with standard speed limiter that can set the top speed to 50, 62, or 75 miles per hour. Already well known in its home city for the TX electric taxi and shuttle, the London EV company expands its model range with a new cargo van model. The VN5 is advertised as an electric van that uses the brand's patented range extended technology. The main driving power is provided by a rear mounted electric motor that is juiced by a 31 kilowatt hour battery pack. This setup provides 58 miles of purely electric range, which would still cover most of the van's day to day driving needs. If you want to travel further, there's a 1.5 liter three cylinder gasoline engine that works to continuously recharge the battery and extend the driving capacity to over 300 miles. The VN5 has a convenient side door for loading cargo, offers 1,825 pounds of payload capacity, and gets three modifications, business, city, and Altima. Marketed as the flagship model in Opel's multi-seater range, the new Zafira E-Life can transport up to nine passengers for distances reaching 205 miles on a charge. The EV is equipped with the same drivetrain setup as the Vivero E cargo van. There is a 136 horsepower motor fed by 50 or a 75 kilowatt hour battery. It gets three body sizes, all of which are available with leather seating. The interior of the van follows the lounge on wheels philosophy. So customers can pick their Zafira E Life with a variety of premium features. These include electric sliding doors, a panoramic sunroof, a 10 speaker sound system, heating and massaging seats and VIP armchairs facing each other. Volkswagen Transportation is one of the longest lasting nameplates in the automotive industry. That is why the company is not ready to tamper with its reputation by releasing an all electric version of the van straight from the factory. Instead, they have partnered with the German tuner Apt, who converted the latest Transporter 6.1 into an EV. Based on the long wheelbase van, the model is offered in two well equipped trim levels and two practical body styles with 237 and 155 cubic feet of load space. 
Unfortunately, on the electrification front, its parameters are still far from impressive. 113 horsepower, 75 to 86 miles of range, and max speeds below 75 miles per hour. What are your thoughts about the presented electric vehicle lineup? Which one is your top pick? Answer these questions in the comments below and support the electric revolution by liking this video. By subscribing to the channel, you will always get notified about new EV videos. So smash that red button and ring the bell without hesitation. See you later.